Have you ever wanted to make a sprint script in Roblox Studio? Well, here's a tutorial for it. First, you'll need to go to the Starter Player folder, and in Starter Character Scripts, you want to insert a local script. This will run every time the character is added. You can delete that default text first. This will, script will run every time the character is added, so we don't want the script to disappear after you respawn, so we don't want to put it in Starter Player Scripts. So first, we want to do this, local player equals game dot players dot local player. This will get the client side player, and then we want to take the character from it, and wait for child, we will just use the humanoid, because that will, that's where walk speed is. We we'll also need to use the user input service, so I'll just say input service equals game colon get service user input service. We're going to use this for the key input. So now we can go in and create an event. So input service dot input began. This will run whenever the game detects an input is starting. So we want to connect function. There are two given parameters, the key and game process. That's if the server will keep track of it. We don't care about that for now. You just want the key. So obviously, we want to see if it is the left shift key. I'll just have that key. So if key dot key code equals equals enum dot key code dot left shift, then we want the game to change the player's walk speed to a higher amount. I'll just do 40. Now we also want it to reset the walk speed. So we'll do input service input ended so this event will be connected to this function every time a key is released so we want the both the parameters again and we also want to see if the key is left shift as well so we'll just do if key dot key code equals a num dot key code dot left shift then we want to set the player's walk speed back to the default which is 16 so now we'll just try this. So you can see when I press shift, my walk speed increases and when I release, it decreases back to normal. So yeah, if you want any more tutorials, just comment down in the section below and tell me what tutorials you want to see next. If you aren't already subscribed, please do so and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more Roblox videos.